Bruce. I'm in Arkham Asylum, aren't I? Get out. Breakfast. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. <clears throat> For Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the round soon. Doctor? What doctor? I like to be naked. Looks like someone was angry. Lovely. That was you, dummy. You're the one that's fucking assaulting that everything and anyone. Blood? God, I hope it's mine. What kind of Batman do you want, Jess? Come on, we oh, full God, on so naked? This can't be happening. Full on chubbo? This can't be real. A Batman that looks like me cannot help anyone, even himself. You better be decent. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. I want to talk to my lawyers. You're not in any position to be making demands, rich boy. I have rights. And yours were revoked after you beat Oswald Cobblepot within an inch of his life and landed yourself in here. To be fair, he deserved it. You're not buying your way out this time. Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. <laughs> what are they gonna do to me? Come on. As you were. Get their ass. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. You really don't want to do this. You don't know a damn thing about me, Wayne. I know everything I need to know. I'm gonna break your arm in half again. Oh, we're going for the legs this time, apparently. The welcoming committee has really gone downhill around here, hasn't it? What the? Rude! Uh, Churlish! Not nice! Who is this? How do you like it? You are pathetic! <coughs> Excuse me. Who? No! It's Joker. Buddy? Oh, buddy. I didn't expect him okay? to see him here. You don't look so grand. More like the opposite. What would that be? I... Thank you. I appreciate the help. You're welcome. If we don't look out for each other, who will, right? You look so odd, though. What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy's tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? You did. Bruce, God is that really right. what happened? Go on, tell her. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. We have a very strict no fighting policy. I'm gonna here be best friends here. with the Joker. If you can't obey that rule, I'm rewriting you're find Batman history. In hot water fast. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. 
I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. <laughs> I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? You just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine, eventually in Gotham, the Joker mobile is gonna be rolling around. John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. But there's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! Why are they gotta be white tiles? <laughs> Guys, are racist. No, Doc. Our last session was so enlightening. Well, that's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself better. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! <laughs> oh, the leg is back. Be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. <laughs> Remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well... <laughs> the fuck? No, no, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill you me! You don't know the president. No! <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. But why do you have it near the patients? <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. Hmm? <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number, dumbass. Stop. I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Doctor Leela. I'm gonna take good care of you. Oh God. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. Oh <laughs> shit, look who it is. But everyone's friendly, mostly. It's a big blue Joe. What is his name? Joe. Joe I Chill? yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit. You know, prone to outbursts of violence. What did they do? This is Arkham, Bruce! Use that sick little imagination of yours. Murder, mayhem, carnage, the usual. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. <laughs> His favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Where is the remote? One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh! I almost forgot. Here. What is this? Billy? 
Why does that sound familiar? He looks like uh, the That's guy out of. Shit, what's that other telltale game, the one with the werewolf? You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off, all right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. I solved the cookie riddle, not you. Sorry, sorry. It's just, it's a, it's a oh, voice. That's cute. Look at him. There's nothing wrong with this guy. He's just lonely. Hello? Hello? Go away. Arnold's busy. I swear, if you bother him, I will gut you. Dude, what a dick. Nice trick. Listen, pal. Arnold's had a tough time in here. And he doesn't need bullies like you making his recovery harder. So unless you have something important to say, get lost. What can you tell me about uh, John Doe? John? Uh, nothing. I, I don't know anything. Yes, yes, I did put a key John? in my butt. Ah, I love that guy. Makes me laugh. Want to know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. Think a freak with green hair would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? But yeah, nothing. Hey, dude. <laughs> I remember you. Batman really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. And Never anything good on, is there? Wait, that's the move you're going to make? Huh? Yeah. Why? Why? Oh god, I'm stuck. No reason. No reason. Lewis! That wasn't me. I, I, I'm Saint Louis. And, and that was Bruce Wayne. That was crazy. You've got quite a reputation around here. <laughs> Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. So what's the deal with that? Well, this one was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> This was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. All lost souls that I freed from their earthly woes. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. What's that? Oh, no, no, no. That's not polite at all. At all. Doctor says that's against the rules. No. Sorry, I can't Marky. talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. Yeah, he's an ugly motherfucker. I think he knows. For this. Damn. I wanted to play some checkers. Hey, uh, I was wondering about. It's not lunch yet. <sighs> well, actually, I was looking for time some for drugs. Either. Beat it. Well, these guys aren't helpful at all. How am I supposed to get my recovery? When everyone's being a dickhead. Hmm. Well, this key doesn't fit. 
Shit. What the hell is it for? Should we ask someone about it? Not to all of them anyway. Did he know about the key? What do you want? Any idea what this opens? How the hell should I know? Get that thing away from me. I don't want any trouble with the orderlies. All right, the sock has to know them. Now what? I got questions for you, sock. Any idea what this opens? Did John give you that key? Maybe. Not this again. Wait, not what again? Nothing. Just go away. I'm busy here. You heard him. Beat it. Hmm. He didn't have any info about the key, did he? No. Let's talk to Mr. Johnny Boy. It didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one, this one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. Oh, After his call me vicious out? attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. <laughs> Double cross and two faced. <laughs> I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Oh, well, you had a good run, right? This isn't going to be any fun if you just sit there. I'm not here to have fun. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television! Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Oh! Harvey is going way too far. You think so? I can't wait to see where he goes next. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, how do you know? You know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Can you revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically. Something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. I'll impale her. I don't well, care. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. Mm, maybe. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. You don't know shit, all right? Those cops had dragged you off of him. That cobblepot you don't know me. would be dead. You don't know anything about me. No? Well, to my eyes, you're a lot like that dad of yours. And I'm a big fan of his work. Taking out his enemies by making them crazy. <laughs> Made this place a hell of a lot more interesting. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Vales killed? I never said he killed the Vales. <clears throat> she was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? 
You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Why has everyone got to bring that up? Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Don't try to make this about me. Of course it's about you, Bruce. This is all about you. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not going to do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I can... <sighs> Assume I can take care of that. <laughs> But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Mm. Just one. How bad could it be, right? Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? Sure. Yeah, you did tell one me favor, out. That seems fair. Excellent. We'll have loads of fun. You'll see. I tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you Don't want? fuck with Victor. Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Oh. No. no! No, 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 I don't match anymore. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now. Skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> I'm using the opportunity. Call security! That's not on me. Use Gordon connection users to get out. GCBD. Gordon, it's Bruce Wayne. Wayne? Aren't you supposed to be in Arkham Asylum? Listen, Gordon, I haven't lost my mind. I was drugged. The same drug the children of Arkham used on Montoya and Harvey Dent. You get me out of here, and I'm willing to testify. This might help our case, actually. That makes three victims now, and Renee says she's got some new evidence. If you're willing to testify, I think I can get you out of there. Thanks. Thanks, Gordon. I have to go. You're always a true bro. <laughs> Oh, Bruce, I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask See, Joker fails. isn't that bad of a guy. Quickly, come on. What? Look at the lock on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on quite a show.
Just misunderstood. Just like the Joker. Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. Ouch. If you're looking for who to blame, maybe start with the mirror, because you're the one that left violent psychotics unattended. Mr. Wayne, I understand you have been through a trying day, but that does not give you the freedom to criticize me or this facility in that way. Because from my perspective, my patients were fine until you went into that rec room today. One moment. Sounds Seems like we're playing The Sims. Alfred! Dude, Alfred is my... Is my secret Alfred. lover. Ah, oh, Bruce. See? Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. Signed this morning with Lieutenant Gordon of the GCPD. He is to be released into my care. I know it seems like using your power and influence is the best way to make this all go away. But it's just avoiding the problem. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. I think I'll get a second opinion. Yeah. I'm sure you can afford the one you like. No. <laughs> oh. Let's go, Alfred. Everyone's always talking about my money, all right? And my dead parents. Why is that? I will see you on the outside, Bruce. I can't wait! Alright, buddy. What's that about? <laughs> He's my best friend. believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. Did Lieutenant Gordon hear about this lead when he let you out? Not yet. Batman will handle this one first. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it... Certainly hasn't gotten any better. So many people angry at me. Entire family. I just hope I can turn it around. I'm sure you'll figure something out. You always do. Selena? Well, <clears throat> good to know Miss Kyle's keeping in touch from wherever she is now. Dude, we're gonna start dating. If you've noticed, the streets of Gotham have been a lot quieter recently. You're not alone. The GCPD has reported a sudden and steep drop in violent crime in the past few days. With the number of 911 calls falling off a whopping 60%. Many are attributing it to the decrease in the visibility of the terrorist group Children of Arkham, whose members seem to be taking some time off. Or maybe it's just our new Mayor Dent making good on his campaign promise to bring down crime in the city. Either way, the citizens are breathing a sigh of relief. She, she's about to fuck me. She hit me with a tarty later. Come on! Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum. Dude, where I we put had you. sex, and what she's already want, distancing me. This is the messed streets up. of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out eventually but by then it'll be too late I'll be fine Harvey I can handle myself I don't think you understand the danger you're in maybe you haven't heard but the children of Arkham have gone underground obviously plotting some sort of attack and people are scared panicking I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened that Gotham is still strong so I gave them an enemy you and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. You're pathetic, Harvey. Not even mayor for a week and already the pressure's gotten to you. No, 
I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. Can't argue with that. I wouldn't have done that. She doesn't belong to you, Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. Do not lecture me about Selena. <sighs> Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. What's going on here? Looks like bad news. <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. Now, if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Wait, who's this Come motherfucker? On, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car. Of course. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac. The hell? Careful, you're or you'll me. be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. You can still leave, and I would take advantage of that while both your kneecaps are still attached correctly. Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Alfred, step oh, on it. <clears throat> Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We Where's just this need motherfucker bringing the baseball bat? Don't know to run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right, now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Back up! Back up! Bruce! Hey! Your father committed innocent people to Arkham and made sure they stay there for the rest hey, of their keep lives! Keep back if you know what's good for you! Ram the barricade! This isn't the Batmobile! Just do it, Alfred! Hey! Ooh. Turn an Alfred into a, so, an outlaw too. So, just get us home, Al. Fast. Alfred's ready to put on that leather suit any second here. I'm fine, okay? God damn! You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. Then help me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down the river. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. You better not talk about how violent I am. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vale's drug. Yes, of course. If I can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Start a DNA scan. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations.
This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Here's my DNA before the incident. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. No. Massive drug impossible. molecule sequence to the key this cure image. is based on my DNA. Oh, yeah. It'll only work for me. To cure other people, we'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each. That should do it. Science. I definitely went into the wrong field. Holy directly crap. Into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Oh god, it hurts. Feels bad just watching that. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work, Alfred. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman, trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I wish things had been different. Maybe I could have gotten through to her. You always try your best, Bruce. She had her own agenda from the start. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? He was a very reliable Offense source. intended toward your recent time there, of course. Trustworthy or not, it's the best lead we have. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. If the Vales still live in Gotham, they should be easy enough to locate. Got it. Bruce! Yeah? If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. <laughs> I'm inside the Vale House. Oh, God. She poke out her eyes with the fire poker? Alfred, the Vales are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Oh, God. Her eyes are gone. 
stabbed out. That's disturbing. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle, probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Can I examine the fire poker? I feel like that's a critical aspect here if her eyes got stabbed out. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. By the fire poker. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. The fire poker! Recent family photo? Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? It was a defensive weapon. <laughs> Alfred found Mr. Vale. Oh, God. Alive. No. Why do He's they have gone. so many jars of pickles? Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Yeah, they got at least two of them there. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Looks like a company logo. Okay, so the logo gets matched to the picture. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. Is this some kind of memory game? This is... Batman is essentially a detective, Jess. No, that's not right. He didn't like that. The lock of hair is on the knife. She was cutting the dad's pubes. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Oh. Oh. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. Okay, so that doesn't Same match. device, doesn't. same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. 
She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. That's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Alfred. Maybe she's been dipping into her I own think supply. someone's still in the house. <clears throat> Going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll that find little, them. The little black kid is in the refrigerator. It's hiding. Or she, I don't know what it was. Clear. Nothing here. Okay, not in the refrigerator. He's under the couch. Anything? No. He's actually Harry Potter. There's someone here. Bingo. Under the stairs, alive. Harry, we found you. What are you doing what are you here? What are you doing in here? Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, Please do it with caution. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to assault the kid, all right? Just need to put that disclaimer out there. Hey, it's going to be okay. You're going to be all right. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. Yeah? I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs. Fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because I hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Is that one of my drones? Get down! Well, hello, Batman. What a <laughs> pleasure to see you. Penguin. Let me guess. You're trying to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. Did I get it? Am I close? Pathetic. Well, Uncle Lucius obviously did a very good job of hiding the, the tech. I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out to the open. Well, kid had no idea what he was getting himself into. Are you safe? Were you wounded? I'm okay. Oh, you're kind of a badass. Oh, don't look at that. The, don't look at the closet. They're dead. Yes, they are. But you are not. You're still alive. And those emotions you're feeling, someday you'll learn how to use them, to channel them. You might not understand now, but someday it will make you stronger. I promise I won't stop until I catch the person that did this.
You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Mm, Snicky, you might be right, dude. Batman. Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter Vicky is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? My guess is he's another foster child living with the Vales. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant, what's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. It's a Commissioner Loeb. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. Oh yeah, Wolfie? I think Wolfie has a cat. And so your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. Alfred, get Lucius on the line for me, please. Of course. Let's get a closer look at you. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Oh, I gotta rotate the dice. EMP functionality is all in the green. It should have worked. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tech that the children of Arkham breached. This is... Something different. Bruce, I have Lucius on screen now. Good evening, Bruce. What's How the meaning of this? I need you to see something. Sending you schematics. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, I am so sorry. I should have caught this, but he snuck right under my nose. Oh, what a mess. That sleaze cobble pot at the heart of it all. Don't waste time beating yourself up about it, Lucius. Let's just focus on fixing it. Right, right. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord. That would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls, but if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to him. I'm tired of being on the defensive. Why don't we attack him instead? I'm not sure, but I can certainly see what I can do. Thanks, Lucius. Bruce, you're going to want to see this. Uh, excuse us, Lucius. Of course. Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne estate. Motherfucker. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite He's still trying to take to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. 
Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. You can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. After what happened at the debate, Harvey probably isn't the biggest fan of Batman. On the other hand, perhaps Bruce Wayne can appeal to him on a more personal level. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who knows how he will react either way. We're going in as Batman and we're gonna beat his ass. Tonight, Batman saves Bruce Wayne. There's no other yes, option for about me. About bloody time. You mean about bloody time? I murder everyone as Batman. It's like Alfred hasn't even Don't been screw here. This up, Harvey. It was the right thing to do. Yeah, of course, of course, it was the right thing to do. I just can't, I just can't second guess myself. Dangerous place to stand. Be so easy to slip and fall. Oh, Batman. What a surprise to see you on my roof. You've gone too far. Leave Wayne alone. Wayne? What, is this about the whole seizing his assets thing? What are you gonna do? You gonna break my legs? <laughs> yes. Or maybe you're just gonna make threats. Words out that you don't get violent unless you have to. If it comes to that, I always you have to think be that even comes close to what you let happen to my face? Uh, funny. Would have thought that this Wayne situation would be a little beneath you, Batman. After everything Bruce has done, why should I do anything for him? Wayne was your friend. He put his faith in you, supported your campaign. He betrayed me! He lied to my face while sneaking around behind my back! Wayne is just another curveball this stupid city threw my way. Him and his goons, the Waynes, the children of Arkham. But you're still the mayor. I can get all the ladies you want. You will get burnt up face. Just how sick Gotham really is. To save Gotham, I need to do some bad before it gets better. Stop talking about go. Harvey. Do it. What did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. Man, we lost a bunch of our own guys. The apartment next door. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. That blast was way bigger than you said. We must have taken out a whole city block with it. We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. Oh. I feel like I should thank you. Seeing as you did give Gordon that tip. Doing this, you're no better than the children of Arkham. You're worse. No, I'm saving Gotham. I doubt the police would see it that way. The police? Oh, the smart ones already answer to me. Otherwise, well, I think Gordon is already a perfect example of what happens to the not-so-smart ones. Bet he wishes he had just handed over the location of the drug stockpile when I asked. <laughs> what did you say about Gordon? Where is he? And just drop him. Getting what's coming to him. You're so full of big scary talk. If you want to save this city, this is how you have to do it. Tell me where he is. Now! <laughs> You're too late, Batman. By now, he's just another corpse in Crime Alley. <laughs> Back off of Wayne, huh? <laughs> Let's take a ride, gentlemen. What the hell is this? Mayor Dent says you're getting in the way of protecting the city. Dent's got you brainwashed. No! He's trying to help! 
The children of Arkham are out of control, and no one, no one is to... <laughs> Batman. That was the saddest headbutt I've ever seen. <laughs> what a mess. Thank you, Batman. Save the thanks, and explain to me why I just watched half a city block go up in flames. Dent took out the warehouse with the drugs. The location that I gave to you. Are you accusing me of something, Batman? Just say it. Come on. Let's hear it. I only told you. Dent knows, so someone you talked to told him. You know we're on the same team here. So stop leaning on me and let's figure out what happened. Tell me what you know. By the time I got back to the precinct, Dent already had the information. He strong-armed it out of Commissioner Grogan. I didn't even have time to scratch my ass before I got hauled out here. Dent's position makes him dangerous. He's persuasive and he has power. Dent thinks that what he's doing is best for Gotham. Execution and martial law. I know. I always considered him my friend. But he's past saving. And there's no world in which he manages to set this right. There's no hope for a rabid dog. We need to lock him up and throw away the key. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is what it's come to. We have a lot of work to do. Everything is such a we goddamn mess. But we gotta start somewhere. You know your officers, Jim. Take the people you trust and start hobbling Dent's army. Get your precinct back. You make it sound easy. No, it won't be. But if anyone can do it, it's you. You're trusted. <sighs> yeah. Gotta handle this first, though. We will get through this, Jim. I'm glad we're on the same side. Situation. I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the Bat computer. <sighs> Hang on, Lucius. It's Alfred. I'm patching him in. Al, Lucius figured out how Penguin's cracking my security. He has a device that. I'm afraid we have another problem to deal with. Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? Oh, shit! You're dead. Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. Now we're gonna go fuck up Harvey. We're going home. Understood. Same soon. I gotta save Alfred anyway. What happens to him? Alfred's the only family I got left. Not one step further. <laughs> oh, come on, Al. Put the rifle down. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, Somehow, no. I don't believe you. Back away, please, all of you. Jesus, Al, it's me, Harvey. No, not the Harvey I know. The Harvey I know would never have massacred innocent civilians. He isn't a murderer. Murderer? When a general sends his troops to kill the enemy, no one calls it murder. They call it war. I ain't going to win the war. The children of <gasps> No. Penguin is still hacking my tech. Guess I'll be doing this the old fashioned way. Alfred, you better start fucking shooting. There you go, my old bud. You again! 
I thought we talked about this. The time for talking is over. And so is your reign of terror. So, how does this end? I want to destroy this house, and you want to stop me. <laughs> I can't imagine this is going to go well for either of us. You're going to turn yourself into the authorities. <laughs> I am the authority. Show's over, Dent. Time to go home. You're right. Go home, Batman. I've got an estate to level. Now get out of here before I have you booked for obstruction uh -oh. of justice. You stand in my way. You stand in the way of the law. I need Alfred to come back. Oh, did it, his knee just bend the other way? You're gonna need more than this, Harvey. I know. Explosive slugs! <laughs> but you don't have any of those in that little belt of yours! Oh shit! <clears throat> My belt's not a little. It's appropriately sized to handle all my junk. Just try and hide, Batman. See how that works out for you. Why is the one guy just looking around like he doesn't know what the fuck is going on? Oh. No! The bat's mine. <laughs> Go ahead. Do it. See what happens. <sighs> this old man needs to die. Don't you dare touch my face shaver. Your head or your heart? Bloop, 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 bloop. What the? Bat! No! Take the Bat! No! Get the hell off me! Batman. Without me, Gotham is doomed. Who will stop Lady Arkham? The Penguin? The children of Arkham? As long as I'm around, Gotham will be fine. They don't need someone like you. No. I'm important. I'm... I'm important! Thank God he was finally stopped. Nice work, Batman. My job's not done yet. I still need to find Lady Arkham before it's too late. Well, I can take care of all this. Just need to figure out what to do with him. All the innocent lives he's responsible for, he should be locked up in Blackgate Prison. But that broken mind of his will probably only get worse in there. Oh, fuck, I'm Blackgate is what a murderer like him deserves. He needs to be punished for the atrocities he committed like anyone else. Yeah, that sounds about right. Sounds bad, Jess. I'll get it taken care of. Stay safe out there. You too, Jim. Al, Al, what's wrong? Bruce, the computer. 
It's Penguin. We need to cut the hard line now. Bruce, all of your bat tech is linked to this computer. If you take it offline, it will all be inoperable. If Penguin hacks in, he'll have control of all of it. I have to shut it down. We're gonna have to go back old school. I mean, let's be honest, do I really need bat tech to break arms and legs and impale people on a rebar? No. So about 50-50 agreed to owe Joker a favor after being a Ray, at least. About 70% of people went along with Joker's advice. <laughs> Some innocent people died. Uh, about 50% of players ram the barricade. I mean, Alfred had to step up. He's not wearing his leather jumpsuit yet, but we'll get there. That'll be in the sequel. Fifty-six percent of people went in to deal with Harvey as the Batman. And 45.6% chose to stop Harvey from destroying your home. This one was like pretty much right down the middle as far as decisions. Joker so crazy. Yeah, but I mean in that situation... I mean, he, you did kind of owe him a favor. He did save you from those two assholes that came into your cell and were trying to beat your ass. No, I think this is this is still early on. Like, he just met the Joker. So he doesn't really know what he's all about, I don't believe. At the same time, who was it? The the sock guy? Forget his name. He was saying that he just kind of showed up. None of the inmates nor any of the like orderlies or staff there knew when he showed up. So he's probably there just hanging out, having a good time. 